Hello and welcome to my squiggly line. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Forjohn. Better known as his weed. And Jason Amherst. What's up? And Billy's around somewhere. I don't know. We haven't heard from him in a bit. We think he fell down. I think he might be taking that to trash again. I think he fell down. That's why we haven't heard from him. I'm spinning. Billy, what the what the fuck are you doing? Interesting. I actually think I have it. I have this. Blast I, I think I put this. I put think I put this on the wheel wrong. It's like the name is wrong on the wheel, but that's all right. I put the apostrophe s in the wrong place. I think. It's all right. Charlie's blast. Charlie blast. That's Dane, Dane. just said it the way I had it written on the wheel. Oh, <laughs> I was getting a little. Confused. Oh, wait, wait. Because yeah. Charlie's blast zone is like one of the ti- one of the alternate titles of this. Yeah, I, I have it Charlie's Blast Territory, but it's Charlie Blast's Territory. Charlie looks like he's a... Uh... Well, well, either way, this is basically... Uh, remember uh, remember that horrible Amiga game that you played on uh, SNES Roulette Bamboozle? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Vaguely. This is Bamboozle. Oh no! Oh, for jism's sake! What? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I don't know what any of that shit means. Light and run. Oh god, it's one of these games. And, oh. instead, instead, you're this this fat construction guy with a five o'clock shadow and uh, and a helmet. Did you? Oh, okay. Yeah, you did it. I dude it. All right. My password is a pair Four, of five, queen, queen. a pair of queens. <laughs> uh, I missed a flush draw. <laughs> Mike would know because he plays poker. I do play poker. Okay, here we go. Alright. This guy. This guy this guy moves very lightly on his feet for a big fat. Gotta go over here. Are you trying to summon Billy back? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. Look at those. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna spray it with my giant hose. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, look at them tears. <laughs> Adrenaline in my shoe, but Billy really likes Asian boobs. I stretch for that. <laughs> you you certainly did. <sighs> No, no, no. I need... No, 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 no. I need... Get on that. She, what? This, this camera kind of sucks. Hold on. There we go. There I, we go. I zoomed in. I zoomed on earn, darn, burn. You zoomed our name. Is the only point for me to get to the red bomb and set it off? Because if so, that just seems kind of lame. Uh oh. Ah, okay. Phew. A7662. Pair of sixes with an ace kicker. I'll kick your ace. Thanks. Yes. Nice. Well, yeah, you, I you, tried. <laughs> well, I did all I could do. I mean, I can tr- I can try one last time in a different way. We'll see if it works. But what? Oh, to summon Billy? To summon Billy, yeah. I think I have ref- I have fucked up. Adrenaline, yeah. adrenaline. I fucked up adrenaline. Adrenaline. 
Adrenaline. Adrenaline in my hole. In my hole. Something, something, pussy hole. Something, something, talent name. <laughs> So what? So I press this here button, and it'll show the name. Okay, I, I don't think I can fuck that up. Oopsie poopsie, I fucked it up. God, this game is boring. It is. It's very boring. A busted flush draw, doody do. Danger pass. Ah, yeah. uh, me too. I would pass on danger. <laughs> what if it was a dominatrix named Danger? Oh, I didn't know you could move the bomb. I'm just gonna go over here now. Wait a second. Wouldn't it have to be in the? It has to be. I think it has to be in a specific location to. Uh... Okay. Destroy the whole island. Location, location, location. Location, location, location. I feel like... I feel like if you put it in the, 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 the TNT crazies... Oh. Or not. Now make it the big booms. I got a boom and a boom and a boom and a butt. It's the biggity, 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 man, daddy, and the diggity, 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 daddy, man. Oh, what, what gave them the idea to make a game with this freaking dude? You know, like freaking Charlie, the construction guy. Hey, look. He likes putting I, a finger in he, his ass. Listen, I'm a union member. I know. I get I'm at least. I'm here. I get at least two 15-minute breaks and a half hour for lunch. Don't even, don't get me fucking started on this bullshit. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go tra-la-la walking like, like, like a, I'm in a musical. What is, what is with this walk cycle for the burly freaking construction man? He just looks like, la 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 Burly friggin' construction man. What are you doing? What are you supposed to do I with wasn't, this? I didn't want to fucking move it that far. For some reason, the game just made me. You know what? I think we forgot to use the magic word when summoning Billy. We should try that again. What, Opie? Yeah, booby juice. Ora, ora, ora. Ora, ora, ora. Opa, opa, opa. <laughs> booby juice, booby uh, juice, booby, booby juice, juice. Booby juice, booby juice. <laughs> Man, it would have been wonderful if he actually did come back with It's Showtime. <laughs> he looks at, uh... He looks at, uh, fucking, uh... <laughs> Uh, oh, chat. shit. Wrong. That's the wrong place. No, no, no. I fucked up. No, he, no, look, no, 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 he, he looks no. at Hitomi, Hit, Hitomi Tanaka. Hey! Nice fucking model! Honk, honk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really... I'm. Can you imagine if he's... If he thinks that he's not muted and he's just like... Hey, I'm talking I mean, to you guys. Pretty, pretty <laughs> sure that I we've said that he's muted like a hundred times. You think you think you would have heard it by now? That hey, we can't hear you because you have it on mute. You dumb dumb. <laughs> you dumb, dumb. If you are actually, uh, if you are actually hello, there. Hello, dumb dumb. Hello, dumb dumb. Hello, dumb dumb. Hello, dumb dumb dumb. From the from the from the Dim's from the Dim's How are you supposed? Can you get rid of them cactuses? Question is: Is there a Dimadome in Dimadelphia as well? 
No. Um, I don't think there's a way to get rid of him. I don't know, and I don't care. I don't know, yeah. and I don't know. I, I don't care enough to watch the uh, new Fairly Odd Parrots. Well, I just want to let everybody know. Uh, Harry Potter is now a Tony Award winner. Unfortunately. Just going to let that sink in. Why is it, Why unfortunately? Because Harry Potter was created by a turf. Was he playing? Well, I mean, I, I don't, was, I don't pull he, Daniel Radcliffe. Was he playing the Harry Potter in the thing that he won the award for? Oh, you mean Daniel Radcliffe, not Harry Potter yeah. the series. Okay. Harry Potter. Yeah, fuck Daniel Radcliffe in particular. Oh, yeah. You know, normally that would be a really good hand in poker. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a straight draw. In, that's an that's an open-ended straight draw. An eight but or in Charlie Blast territory, not so much. Switch back. Nah, it's just a password. Yeah, here it's just an asshole. I mean, passhole. I mean, fuck it. Word ass. I too enjoy word ass. The fuck am I supposed to do with this? The fuck am I supposed to do with this? I don't know. Shove up your ass. What do you want me to do? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, is that? When those things hit you, it's it's lowering the time. Oh no! Oh. Okay. Okay. So apparently, I can scoot TNT boxes. It's good to know. Adrenaline up the butt. Something, something. I'm a slut. No king shaming. No, no king shaming. Okay, so now... I love the picture of a Cybertruck that's been repainted as a rainbow. So it's like, oh, this is what happens when uh, there's no kink in pride. It's like, no, 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 there's there's kink there. Shame. Somebody's Ooh. into shame. I have fucked up. Switchback, I would like a switchback. This is the Cell Dweller song. Switch back. How is it that I came to be? Now everybody's gone but me. Okay. I, I, I still don't fucking know what I'm, how I'm supposed to... Oh, oh, fuck, God. I didn't mean to do that. God damn it. Ribcage. Fruitcake. Butt fuck. Fruit cake. Butt fuck. <laughs> Ice cream. Cold twat. Hey, but, 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 but. Mm, uh, in a tub. Ooh, uh, in a leg tub. Ooh, uh, pissing in a bathtub. There's there's pipes. Okay. Oh no. I fucked up. Push it back. You certainly did. That did not work. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that other TNT box. I can't move it. It's in the corner. I don't yeah, I don't know. I give up. Thoughts on Charlie Blast territory, Dane? Uh this wasn't very good. I was getting kind of bored. Except for the guy trial lying around. Very silly little walk animation. But other than that, it was kind of... Alright, Jason? Yeah. I mean, Bomboozle kind of sucked. This sucks just as bad. Just with better graphics. Yeah, this is awful. Uh, I don't know who thought this should be a game, but it, it should not be. This game 
just should not be. Scores out of 10, Dane. No, it should not. One. Jason. Yeah, um, I want to give it a two because it makes me want to take a shit, but uh, zero. Yeah, but zero for me. And now we go back to the wheel. Spin it. Gotta go back in time. Gotta go back in time. The wheel has landed on Dane's choice. Well, get I think I know what Dane's picking. Yep. Let's let's do it to it. Gex, that is. It's about time this game's been on the wheel for about a millennia. I gotta tell you, if if this wasn't on the wheel, I probably would have picked a Vigilante 8. Also a good game. <laughs> See, the unfortunate thing, despite this being a very good game, I believe the N64 version doesn't have as many recorded lines from Dana Gould as the PlayStation version. Correct. Probably. <laughs> Who's that? It's, it's Billy. You're still muted, Billy. Billy's back. Billy! Uh, you're... Is there a problem with your mic, uh, Billy? Is that why go. you're muted? It was muted. I don't know how it muted itself. I really don't know. We we said it was that you were muted a hundred times. I don't know why you didn't listen to us. <laughs> well, one, I was away for a little bit because I was taking a big old fat dump. Thanks. I had a feeling that was part of the reason you were gone. Speaking of, here's the level smell razor. Smell <laughs> <laughs> razor. I love me some gex. As do yeah. I. This, uh, this, of course, though, is the second Gex game. Mm hmm. Also, yes. Gex lore is extremely complicated and ridiculously verbose. For a game about a Pokemon Lizard. Yes. Well, yeah, the first one was a side scroller. At least scroller. you missed the piece of shit. Yeah, the first one was a side scroller on the 3DO and PlayStation. Yes. <laughs> Coming soon, 3DO roulette. I'm pretty sure we've done a full playthrough on MVG Live of this. Probably. Yes, we have. I, I would. I would not mind returning to it, honestly, in the future. <laughs> Me either. Boy, the, uh... That's good shit! Ah, piss. It's all right. I think I can climb that. There we go. I wouldn't mind, uh, I wouldn't mind a new Gex game. I'm hoping that the, uh, Gex Trilogy HD, uh, collection, uh, Entices them to bring back the gecko. <laughs> okay, Billy. <laughs> ah, son of a bitch, I missed. Did <laughs> Dana Gould is on fire. Dana Gould is on fire. He was, he was, on, he was on that t TV show working. That also sure starred was. Fred Savage. That's correct. And it had a really cool theme song because it was Devo. I've been working in a gold mine, going down, 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 working in a gold mine. Woo! About to slip down. I got a shit. Boo-dabba-doo-dee-boo-dabba-doo-boo. 
Gabba Gabba Hey. I've been a jerking off a coal mine. What? Uh, excuse me? <laughs> the fuck you just say to me? I believe I said I'm jerking off a coal mine. <laughs> How do you jerk off a coal mine? Uh, like really every really single crazy. person in it. Yeah, basically, yeah. Uh, but <laughs> then the problem with that is that you get in trouble for, you know, uh, <laughs> you know. Don't don't you fucking say it. Don't fuck it. I know what you're going to fucking say. Don't do it. <laughs> You mother... Mike, if you value Double our friends... For s <coughs> For s uh, everybody in the coal mine? No. No. Don't... Don't say it! Don't say it! I swear to God. If you fucking say it, if you fucking say it, I'm gonna be very angry. So. Is it in the coal mine? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Soliciting right, a minor. <laughs> God, we're stupid. What is this show? Yes, we are. <laughs> you piece of shit. Oh, shut up, I Dave. I forgot. Man, I forgot many moons ago. I, I've forgotten so many things. <laughs> I've forgotten how to so do fractions. I was, so I was at Ollie's discount store the okay. other day. Oh, uh, yeah. They, yeah. they, uh, they is, had huh? a four pack of wrestling figures there. And okay. it had Hulk Hogan, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Rocky Maivia, and Becky Lynch. Hulk Austin, Stone Cold Steve Hogan, Maki Raivia, Triple L. I love, I love Maki Raivia. Uh, me too. <laughs> he's, he's my favorite. Uh, he always hits people with the mock bottom. And uh, the Hogan figure. It's actually, mock with... bottom, I'm pretty sure, is Naomi's finisher. <laughs> <laughs> The, uh, the Hogan figure came with the big green belt. That's cool. Huh. Because it was his first, you know, his first title match in WWE. So it was supposed to be. And it's Becky Lynch's WrestleMania gear. You know, the one where she wore like the weird crown on her head. With all the geometric shapes. Yes. She was pretending to be oh, yeah. Kim- Kimber in that Gautier music video. No, I'm kidding. You Say just what? Uh, that I used to what? know. You didn't have to what jump. What happened to them? Gautier? They're a yeah. one-hit wonder, my dude. They just fucking disappeared like a fart in the wind. <laughs> fart in and, the uh, wind. The Rock's first time you heard it. Fart in yeah. the wind. You know, it's funny that you say that, because apparently they released some kind of a remix of one of their songs. Who, Kansas? No, Gautier. Oh. Gautier. <laughs> but, no. I never knew if it was supposed to be like Gautier or Gautier. I, I, what, from what I, I heard, just, it's I, Gautier. I, I just called him. I wouldn't listen to him. <laughs> wow, Billy. Wow, Billy. Billy, 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 you're so you funny. You didn't have to fuck my butt. Suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to jerk me off. But I just jizzed and I didn't notice. I didn't nothing. Did you, guys, did you guys know that there's a musical right now? Well, it's closing in like a week. It sucks. It's closing in 10 minutes. There's a musical called The Heart of Rock and Roll. It's a musical about Huey Lewis and the News. Well, it's based off of their, their Muzak. Muzak? So what, I'm try- what I am trying to say is there are currently two shows on Broadway that use the song "Back in Time" <laughs> from from Huey Lewis and the Jews. Well, <laughs> the Jews. 
Huey Lewis and the Jews. Listen. Sorry, the bed's breaking you. I really hope Huey Jewess. Huey fucking. Huey Jewess. Huey, Huey Jewess. Huey Jewess. I, I listen. I, I'm going to write something for the Back to the Future. Maybe. Why not? I don't know. Help me, Bonnie. That's it. We're quitting the band. Sorry, the band's breaking up. Jewey Lewis. And the, and the Hughes. Jewy Jewess and the Jews. <laughs> Jewy Jewess and the Lose. That's right. J- Jewy Lewis and the Hughes. <laughs> Jewy Lewis. Lady. Like Lady, no. We gotta go back in time. Lady, my. Oi, Freud Laven. Freud Laven, child. Freud Laven. Roy Laven. Roy Laven. The dragon. The dragon. The dragon. Did somebody stop these people from saying the dragon? The dragon. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's oh, the password? What happened. happened to me, Roy Laven? Oh. <laughs> oh. Man, he knows the password, man. <laughs> hey, we got to look through, man. <laughs> I also like how Mr. Director would, would get all serious and he'd start talking like this. And then they'd fuck with him and he'd go like lady. Oi, with well, the I mean, big it, in the hammer. I mean, it goes from how Jerry Lewis really sounds, his actual voice, and then he goes to. <laughs> the funny vibe and that vibe and lady. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm even going to like a giant boy. Go, why go? Wow. I think Jerry Lewis had a stroke. He very well could have because he's dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is dead, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Ah, the Looney Tunes level. Yeah, uh, oh. Game Mill Entertainment's doing that Looney Tunes sports game. So you know it's going to be a budget title. Couldn't they just do like a, you know, a game that's Maybe similar to fun. like uh, Marvel uh, Ultimate Alliance with the Looney Tunes? You know, it's kind of like a RPG-ish beat-em-up. You know, that would be pretty cool. I mean, Too bad Warner have, Brothers like, would never let anything like that happen. I mean, yeah, you could, I mean, the cartoon, if you made it really wacky with the cartoon violence, you know, anvils and mallets. And... Free Coyote versus Acme. You cowards. It's, uh, it will print money, you jackasses. You a are a butt literally, dick. It was literally the most... Positively reviewed test screening you ever did, you idiots. I mean, have like a team of like Bugs Bunny, Foghorn Leghorn, Daffy Duck, and Porky Pig. I say, I say, yo, piss it, two dollar loud, whoop your ass, boy. Yo, piss it, two dollar loud, boy. These are these are some good reviews, I say. Now we're gonna to talk to Daffy Cuck. Daffy Cuck. Daffy Cuck. Daffy Cuck. <laughs> they'll do something lame like Daffy Cuck, or like uh, Looney Tunes <laughs> Legos. Well, uh, like like I said, the Looney Tunes sports game give me the vibes of the old SNES Looney Tunes B ball. Yeah. Mm. Wasn't the Looney Tunes B-Ball, wasn't that actually kind of good? Guess not. Guess not. <laughs> Nobody knows for sure. I, I was going to say, like, everything kind of just flowed to a crawl and then super sped up really fast on my screen while oh. it went silent. <laughs> okay, then let me let me rephrase my question. Son of a bitch. I... I've heard 
that the Looney Tunes B ball game was actually pretty kind of sort of good. Yeah, no, it was really good actually. It was uh, it was playable with the multi tap adapter too. Ah. So you could actually play four players on the Super Nintendo with that game. Get out of my face with that twash. Picture a very cartoony Looney Tunes NBA jam. God damn it. I can I can definitely get behind that. Yeah, apparently, uh, apparently this will be a like updated HD version of that, but with other sports, not HD. just basketball. HD. They better be boxing. They better HD. be boxing. Then we'll have our dream match of Elmer Fudd versus the Chicken Hawk. Or, or uh, you can finally beat the shit out of Pepe Le Pew. You know. A lot of people say, oh, Looney Tunes canceled him because he was problematic. And literally a Warner Brothers executive was like, no, he was just really fucking boring. That's why we don't use him. Yeah, like, like he's a one note character who wasn't that funny. It's like, just, oh, uh, I'm, I'm a horny shitty. Literally, I think you're so beautiful. The I'm entire so joke funny. is him, is him not knowing that fucking for a the skunk, yeah. Has yeah. nothing to do with anything else. Like, there was never any other joke outside of it. It was always him and the cat. And that was it. It wasn't like, you know, Foghorn Leghorn who had funny things to say and, you know, I, yeah, he harassed the dog all the time, but it was different every time. Yeah. Uh, it was every, like so every so often, there was that frumpy chicken that was like, yes, that wanted to like bang Foghorn. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like she had a name, but I don't remember it offhand. Yeah, I can't remember either. She had that really nerdy kid. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, Egghead. Oh, I remember Egghead, but I can't remember her name. What her name was? Yeah, Gladys. You know, actually, it might be Gladys. We don't know. No, it's, it's gotta Henrietta. be on Looney Tunes rookie somewhere. Henrietta. Miss, Miss Henrietta. Prissy. Hmm. Miss Prissy. It was Miss Prissy. Miss Prissy. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Funniest joke that I thought, and it, and it, it literally was an old-fashioned gay joke that they did. And the thing is, he goes, there's something yee about a boy who don't play baseball. <laughs> Some yee. <laughs> it's funny. Yee. Something yee about a boy that don't play baseball. It's actually, you know, it's kind of funny when you watch like old cartoons and old movies from the twenties and thirties and forties where they kind of sidestep around gay jokes, but it's like, yeah, you know, you it's, know what they're talking about. You, know. you know, there's something really, yeah, he has haircut. You might get some bitches on your dick. Wait. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I say, boy, I say, boy, you, you play baseball. Them women going to be all over slobbing on your wang. I tell you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I said, boy, but you know something, boy, if you play football, I said, boy, you're going to have the, the cheerleaders fucking your ass. <laughs> uh, I say, you're going to be beating off the football players with both hands. Uh, Wait. I'm a spoke, uh, boy. I'm a spoke. <laughs> What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you, boy? You're, you're a field goal kicker. You want to talk about masculinity, boy? And I remember that bottom always field goal kick as a twinks. Who was that? What's that fucking dumbass's name? A chase. <laughs> uh, a woman should be in the kitchen making me sandwiches. Like you Sam kick a ball for a sandwiches. Yeah, you kick a ball for a sandwiches. <laughs> Thoughts on Gex sixty four, Dane? 
fantastic. I love the Gex games, and this was no exception. Uh, I feel like the third Gex game was a little bit better, but this one is no slouch. Jason. This is this is a freaking great game. Like, you know, N64 or PlayStation, you can't go wrong with Gex. Uh, Billy. I, I, I like the first one a little better because I like the platformer a little more. But uh, Gexo Kazooie here. Uh, <laughs> that's what it feels like to me. Um, but yeah, it's still a good game. <laughs> Yep, if you if you enjoy Super Mario, if you enjoy Banjo, you're gonna enjoy this one. This was actually a very well put together uh, 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 adventure game. Um, the uh, the the phrases, if you're playing the N64 version, the phrases that uh, Gex says are gonna get repetitive after a while. But if you're playing the play- PlayStation version, obviously that's not a big as big of a deal because uh, there's more space on a disc than there is a cartridge. Uh, in any event, good game. Scores out of ten, Dane. Dang. Jason. Dang. Billy. Dang. I'm going to give it a 10 as well. Ten oh, seven. shit. Uh, so ding, 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 ding. Everybody, I got to help my dad. All right. One more game this episode. So let's <laughs> uh, spin it. Do, 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 and then begin it. Oh yeah, tailspin, tailspin, extreme racing, USA. oh yeah, butt sex, tailspin, friends for life through thick and thin. What was that? Somebody, somebody in the chorus there said something a little, little crazy there. <laughs> <laughs> With another tailspin. This music. <laughs> Balestruction. <laughs> <laughs> investigative bear grin, and when you're in it, you can put it in a when you spin it, spin it, spin it. Oh, oh. That's the that's the part they do at the end. Yes. So you remember. Bear and grin it when you in it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, Rush 2, Extreme Race. Uh, Adgatres. Uh, Mountain Dew! <gasps> Prototype, Formula, Hotrud, Taxi 4x4, Stallion, <laughs> Cruiser, Hushback, Concept, Subconcept, Van, Subcompact, Exotic, Coop. Band, sedan, mobster, muscle car, compact pickup. Yeah, I'm gonna do Mountain Dew. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna, I'll just do it as the colors that are. I was gonna change it to the colors of the Mountain Dew I was drinking, but that's okay. Mountain Dew for you. What? Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Boner time. Uh, that is that is a classic. Uh... What? No. Okay. What oh, the hell? What? <laughs> I think I flew out into the ocean and it was like, no, <laughs> you're not gonna pollute the ocean with Mountain Dew. <laughs> so here's um here's something interesting that I think Chase will be excited about. Uh huh. Okay. There is a there's a show coming to Broadway in October to the Blasco Theater. It's called Maybe Happy okay. Ending. Uh, it, is apparently, it is apparently an original South Korean one act musical. Huh. About happy endings. I, I I don't really know much about like Korea outside of like. But I know about jerking off. <laughs> The, the fact that it's in Korea has nothing to do with anything. It's just about jerking off. <laughs> oh, okay. 
and it's, it looks and it's K- hit song. It looks kind of K-pop-ish, but apparently it's the the hit song from it is "Bopping the Bishop." Yes, Mike. That's exactly what it is. The big bopper. <laughs> the big, big bopper. Big bopper. The bishop. Bob and a booby. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> well, yeah. What? What? Give it about and data. Was it supposed to happen? I don't. I don't know what the fuck happened there. I hit the fencing and I went way, way up into the fucking air. And I'm out of time. But I'm in first place. Game over first place. <laughs> oh, isn't that always the way? New York Uptown. I am the Mountain Dew. Three, two, one, <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Oh, this is New York. I ball. am the Mountain Dew. Yeah. <laughs> Here's your I say, uh, Hold on. Hold on a fucking second. There, there would be a lot more traffic. <laughs> no way. They would, the streets would be this deserted. Yeah. Unless it was nuclear winter. Nuclear. Nuclear. It's pronounced nuclear. It's nuclear, it's nuclear dummy. The S is silent. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, there's so many right turns. Back up. <laughs> oh, there's so many right turns. Why are there so many right turns? Go this I'm way. I'm sure so there'd only be a few right turns. Why are there so many ostriches? You mean I gotta put this thing into that thing? Oh my word! Welcome back, Billy. Yeah, I had help, Dad. My dad move a new shelf. All got. you, all you missed was uh, it landed on Dane's choice, and he picked Gex. He was here for that. Oh, never I was mind. Here for that. Never mind. Hey, what the- I I gave it a ten. Never mind. All you missed then was uh, uh, Jason got completely naked and then was fired from his job. Oh, well, that makes a lot of sense. That's, that's not true. That's... Uh, was it Charlie Blast's territory? Which I think was also called Charlie's Blast Zone in other regions. Yeah. Let's go to Hawaii. Yay. Hey, Overly Jace. gruff. Let's go to Hawaii. Have you, yeah. have you ever watched Ultra Galaxy Mega Monster Battle? I got it on Blu-ray. Well, there you go. Never mind. Who do you, th- who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> I was going to say, like, I, I, have, I have a lot of Ultraman on Blu-ray. Cause, uh, cause do I? That, that was the whole thing that started off the, uh, the series that led to Ultraman Belial. And then later on, Ultraman Geed. Let's go! sound like freaking F Zero. Dave, if you're interested in any of these shows that me and me and uh, Jace talk about, you can go on Tubi and watch all of them for absolutely free. I don't work for Tubi at all. <laughs> uh, the, the only one that Dane cares about, he got on Blu-ray. Grid back. There's, there was an electronic gaming monthly and expert gamer billboard. Two yeah. magazines, two magazines that don't exist anymore. I heard. Yeah, did somebody, you see gaming? Did somebody just say Gridman? Yes. Yes. Gridman. Baby dad. Also known as Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. Well, that doesn't have the same ring as Gridman. Baby Toon Baby Kuhn Baby Kuhn It is one of the catchiest freaking theme songs out of any of those shows. It is, you're right. Yeah. It makes me want to sing. I also love how the song was in the uh, last episode of the anime, too. Oh, it was, wasn't it? 
Yeah. I'm also salty that they never brought the freaking movie stateside. Yeah. What the hell, Crunchyroll? You're gonna bring the Fauci the Rock movies to America, but you're not gonna bring Gridman and Dinazan on? How dare you! I boomed. Oh well. That reminds me. I need to oh, watch shit. the Ultraman movie that just dropped on uh, Netflix. Ultraman Rising. Yeah. I gotta watch that too. Basically, okay. uh, Big Hero 6 Ultraman. <coughs> Ooh, oh. Everybody's. Well, everybody right now is concentrating on Inside Out 2, Big. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, good for Pixar, I guess. Uh, Finally, another movie I that isn't out that doesn't have cow art. I mean, also the fact that. Inside Out to recast like most of the characters because they didn't want to give any of them a pay raise. Well, that's what. Yeah, yeah. It's saying Walt Disney Studios Motion Pictures distributed it, not Pixar. That is, is that right? Uh, because Disney has basically twisted Pixar's arm into becoming another arm of Disney. Um, <coughs> so they've twisted also, their arm to become an arm. Is what you're saying. <laughs> they twisted an arm and became an arm. Yep. yep. Arm. Was it? There's apparently a movie out right now called... Arm. Haiku! The oh. Dumpster Bath. <laughs> it's called Arm. Yeah. It's yeah, it's a, uh, it's, it's a volleyball anime. It, star it stars Army Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, oh, no. Billy, you've heard of IQ, right? Mm, never watched it, though. Yeah. I mean, I've heard of it, but I've never watched it either. But I am curious I don't, I don't... it made it to theaters somehow. Oh, yeah, it did. I, I just, I don't watch sports anime. I don't, it just doesn't interest me. Unless it's wrestling anime, then it does. Have you seen Birdie Wing, though? No. It is an anime-ass anime, my friend. An anime-ass anime? Yeah. I... Like, like this, this game, this, this anime, dude. It's, it's girls who might possibly be lesbians playing golf. It's girls. Also, the yakuza are involved. Girls. Do 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 do. It doesn't show their butt all the time. Um, there is a little bit of fan service in one of the episodes when uh, they play uh, golf via a VR system. Uh, which, oh. that in itself was was a blatant chill for uh, uh, the company that wound up making a birdie wing VR game and experience. I don't know what 26 of them hurt me. Well, the word the, it means... No, I'm just kidding. Well, that depends means, on what your definition of the word is. Jizz? No, is. He didn't know what the word is means. <laughs> yeah, you got a PJ. Yeah. This Boots and Cats ass soundtrack. Uh, how about we uh, run it back and add a few more of those Debra Debra Dickies? Hi, oh, this is Markiplier. What the fuck am I doing with the Debra Debra Dickies? <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is Markiplier. Have I been rolling oh, lately? Hey. When was I'm, the last time? Uh, oh, I'm oh. gonna watch the WB, the Hey Double 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 Me Double Double just, I have just been informed that the WB does not exist anymore. Apparently, it combined with UPN in 2005. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. <laughs> What's the CWR? I don't know what the C stood for, but the W was clearly Warner. 
can't watch. That's what it stands <laughs> for. Ha <laughs> ha Penis. <laughs> ho ho ho. Ho ho ho. Candy wife. <laughs> Candy wife. Candy wife. In all of my years of Bob Brick, that is the oddest child I've ever seen. And well, all it was, of my you know, it's years funny. Buffering. It's like it's like Freeform. Freeform at the very beginning used to be the Family Channel. Then it went the Fox yep. Family. Then it went the ABC Family. And now it's for. Sure. <laughs> yep. Bit of, bit of and through boom. all of that, they still have to show the Seven Hundred Club because. Pat Robertson's a tool bag. I'll agree with that. Contractual obligation. Yep. They I used to do like adult. Uh, a while a while back, Freeform used to do like Adult Swim style bumpers right before that, going like, uh, "We don't recommend you watch this show. We have to air it because of a contract." But uh, yeah, it's about the uh, the hating gay people and <laughs> <laughs> devouring the Lord it's within. It's in the there. body of Christ. I don't know. It's stupid. Don't watch it. You can get. You can pray that. You can pray for your soul, but you can't pray the gay away. That's not how it works. Yeah. Just go watch. And you can literally go to church, and it would probably be better than watching this horse shit drag dribble bullshit. Why do we? I, if, I wish we could get rid. I wish we could get rid of this bullshit that we have to air on our channel twice a day. But we what can, we, and it's things? unfortunate that we do because we could have been putting so much. We we could have ran a two-hour marathon of Family Guy, and unfortunately we can't because this stupid piece of jerk. And then they ran out of space, and then they cut right into the Seven Hundred Club right after that. I have <laughs> never watched the Seven Hundred Club in my entire <laughs> life. Ever. I was about to and, say. I am a, and I am a Christian. It was a very it was a very wordy uh, bumper. Yeah. <laughs> But you know what the funny thing is? Not one person at my church watches the 700 Club. Yeah, because it's fucking Coldplay. dog trash. <laughs> why, why is it called the 700 Club anyway? What, 700 or what? I don't understand because, I don't know, maybe the first, there were only 700 members of the club starting off. I don't know. Because they were trying to raise $700 or something like that. So the people who donated became no, known as the 700 Club and now or that's, something. And now that's all the program is worth. <laughs> $700. Yeah. Let me just tell you, and I'm gonna say this: like, the all the, lot, a lot of the TV pastors are yeah. not um, liked in the Christian community. You, yeah, I was, you gonna, know, I was gonna say like the 700 Club. Even you know Jesus people look down on that. Like that's I mean that's 700, 700 Club, Kenneth Copeland, uh, what's his face that bought the Astro Dome. Um, like yeah, if you you can you you can pray to God, you can go to church, you can believe what you want to believe, but if you if you watch Seven Hundred Club, you are a dunkle ton of the highest variety. I'm sorry, that's just how it is. What if you watch the Four Hundred Twenty Six Club? Then you're a dunkle ton well, of the about, mediocre well, variety. Well, well Four Hundred Four Hundred Twenty Six Club is about Asian boobs bouncing, so you're cool. With oh that. yeah, that I just word I just I only watch that for about five minutes and then I'm done. Uh, thoughts on Rush 2, Dane? Um, it was alright. It's not a terrible racing game, but the mechanic, the... Seems like there's wacky hit detection, but, you know, it's pretty bad. Jason. Well, I should say it's not that oh. bad. Jason. Uh, you know, I, I feel like the game really didn't get good until, like, Dreamcast era. Like, you know, when, when they did, like, Rush 2049. Like, that was that was a good one. That's Rush fair. Rush 2049. I'm not so, no. I'm not so unsure that that, that they, didn't they release on this. To, uh, but... they, they were trying to... Uh, they, they were trying to find a formula, you know, <laughs> which was basically... The formula was one. dominated. Yeah, like... And, and the thing is, they didn't get it until eventually, like, Midway and Atari all kind of merged into yeah. one giant blob. And then they just reskinned Cruisin' as Rush. 
Billy. I ain't mind it. I don't care for racing games all that much. That's fair. Uh, yeah, if I wanted to play cruising, I'd just play cruising. You need to do something to. You need to do something to stand out from the crowd. Being like another game is not it for sure. Uh, scores out of ten, Dane. Seven. Jason. Six. Billy. Five. I'm gonna give it a six. On this edition of the show, we played Charlie's Blast Territory Gex 64 in Rush 2. Best game of the episode, Dane. Get settled. Jason. Gex. Billy. Gex. Yeah, I would say it's Gex. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this edition of Retro Roulette. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Forgione, Jason Amherst, and Billy Carter, I'm Mike Riley saying see ya next time. Good night, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>